Here are five things that you should never do when you are losing your hair. Hi, my name is William Gonitz. I'm the CEO and founder of Evolution Hair Loss Institute and Advanced Trichology Products. I'm a fellow with the World Trichology Society and I've been helping people regrow hair for over 21 years. I have seen people make all sorts of mistakes when they are trying to regrow their hair and I respect the fact that they're tinkering but at the end of the day there are five things that I highly recommend against because by the time you get in my office I don't want you to have done these things because if you did then realistically you may have put yourself in a situation that is so bad that we're not going to be able to recover completely from that situation. So let's talk about those. Number one on that list is get Kenalog insurance. Injections. Most people go to their dermatologist or primary care to actually understand a little bit more about what's going on with their hair loss. Unfortunately, in certain circumstances, there are physicians that are just going to point and shoot and they're going to kind of ask questions later. They're going to say, hey, why don't we go ahead and put Kenalog corticosteroid injected in your scalp because that may actually slow down the progress of your loss because it will reduce inflammation. And although that's true in certain respects, the only time you wanna use Kenalog injections is when you're dealing with alopecia areata or alopecia totalis or universalis or any type of scarring alopecia. So in those cases, the vast majority of the things that you're gonna be dealing with are not related to alopecia areata or any of the scarring alopecias. So you should not use Kenalog injections because if you do, then you may actually diminish the immune state on the surface of the scalp further and that will then lead to increased microorganisms, increased fungus, increased bacteria, and actually induce shedding and some atrophy of the scalp itself. So that's number one. Number two is never leaving oil on your scalp overnight. Now, when you're going through the process, you're gonna see all sorts of scalp oils out there, and most people think that more is better, and if I put this oil on my head and leave it on there forever, then ultimately it's gonna help grow hair. No. Don't do that. Even the oils that I do recommend, which would be castor and coconut oil, I want you only to leave it on your scalp for 45 minutes and then wash it off. And that's only two to three times a week. Because when you leave oil on your scalp all night, you end up creating an environment for high levels of yeast, bacteria, or particularly the Demodex parasite that will begin feeding off of this broken down oil and typically make your hair loss worse. So it is very rare that I've ever seen a circumstance where a high level of oil has actually helped somebody. So that's number two. Number three, stop using minoxidil. And I'm not telling you to stop using minoxidil. I'm saying don't stop using minoxidil. I have a video on exactly what happens with that. You can check it out here. When you stop using minoxidil, if you've been using it for over 90 days, then you'll end up losing a ton of hair unless you block the underlying genetic predisposition or nutritional reason or inflammatory reason. So don't stop using minoxidil. Now number four, don't stop washing your hair. Now this very well could be number one on the list because most people innately end up going through a hair loss scenario and they see more shedding, they see more hair on their hands, they see it around the sink. And when they end up seeing that, they go, I'm gonna stop washing my hair so that more hair doesn't come out. Now the hair that falls out today started falling out eight weeks ago, meaning that it takes that amount of time for the hair to actually disconnect from the surface of the scalp and then ultimately fall out of the scalp. It goes from antigen to catagen to telogen. This is a normal cycle of things. So if you stop washing your hair because of the amount of hair that's coming out, you will actually inadvertently make your hair loss worse. And I've seen people that have done this for years and it's just the stuff that grows on your scalp that actually speeds up hair loss is just wild, so don't do that. Now number five is a outlier where people, they are being really marketed to by these companies and quite frankly, in my opinion, it's not fair. Number five is never use a high powered laser device on your scalp. Literally 21 years of watching people grow hair with lasers, lower intensity is better 99% of the time. There's only in certain circumstances where I would really use high powered and high powered to me is actually somewhere between 100 and 144 diodes. Never use anything over 200. Never use a 300 diode laser. This amount of energy is completely overstimulating to your scalp, but the laser companies want to sell higher powered, more expensive equipment, and it does not service you any better than if you use a lower power device. 
typically around 80 diodes. That's my top five. Go ahead and check out this other video. If you have questions, put them down in the comments and I'm happy to help in any way.